The end of the calendar year brings many television programs that do a year in review. And here on BT Daily, we thought we'd take a couple of minutes to review the important news stories of the year. One of the biggest ones, finances. We've, we've seen that and been affected by those things, whether it be here in America or whether it be in Europe. It's a story you cannot escape. One of the biggest ones is what has been taking place in Europe. We've watched how that has impacted uh, American affairs and, and the rest of the world. Uh, European leaders are trying to salvage their union. They're trying to salvage the common currency they've had now for nearly a decade, the euro. Uh, nations like Greece are on the verge of default, and several other European countries are threatening the, the very fabric of that very important key union of uh, European nations. And they've been meeting on an ongoing basis. They have not been able to come up with a viable solution that has settled the markets or restored confidence in the financial structure of the European Union. And yet it's, it's not just a European thing. It's going to affect us here in America. It's going to affect you around the world because it's not just an isolated incident. This is going to impact trade. It's going to impact oil. It's going to impact all of these things. In fact, we already see that. And so we can't escape the impact of the financial world as events take place. What this has done is really created a crisis in, in confidence, and that comes back down to Main Street where you and I live because it, it impacts the prices of fuel, energy, food, uh, the ability of a person to get a loan mm -hmm. and money being freed you, up by You banks. mentioned confidence. Where is our confidence? Where should it be? And I think that's the key. Where do we put our confidence? Is it in currency? Is it in gold and silver? Because that's where a lot of people are putting their confidence now. Instead of currency, they're buying gold. They're buying silver. And yet the Bible says some specific things about prophecy when it comes to putting our confidence in precious metals. Can't be there. There's a passage in Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 19. Here's what it says. They will throw their silver into the streets, and their gold will be like refuse. Their silver and their gold will not be able to deliver them. So don't get caught up in that. Don't think for a moment that silver and gold are going to save you. We've got to put our confidence somewhere else. Practice sound principles of financial management in your own life. Don't neglect those. N none of us are going to be immune from that, and, and uh, th those laws are going to impact us. But in the long run, I'll understand God's laws of financial management, understand what Bible prophecy says about uh, the world situation, and don't get caught up in the fads, but put your trust, your confidence in God and, and in his scriptural principles of financial management. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.